Welcome to the Pantherlayer.com signing day special. And we're here with actually the man who signed the first letter of intent to Pitt. Pitt didn't announce it, but you can sign your letter of intent at 7 a.m. local time. And for Sam uh, Vanderhaar, 7 a.m. local time was like Tuesday afternoon for us. Sam, how are you doing? How's, how's it going? Yeah, good. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, very exciting day. I'm very excited to be a part of the family and yeah, get, get cracking in. Now, Sam, you're in Australia. Uh, I think we list you as uh, Melbourne. Is that where or where, where in Australia are you, Sam? Yeah, correct. Yeah, so I'm from Melbourne um, and I'm with Pro Kick Australia. So that's basically, well, essentially is a punting program um, which sort of facilitates the transition from, you know, Aussie rules football traditionally, which is obviously my previous sport to, um, to American punting. So, yeah, Pro Kick Australia, that, that program's called. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, I think here uh, in Pittsburgh, we know about that program because that was Kirk Chrisadulu and kind of where here, where he, uh, you know, what brought him to, um, you know, to the U S and then I, I think Jordan Berry also was involved with that program as well. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. And his younger brother, his younger brother, Wilson was also in it. Who's actually at Kentucky in the um, SEC. So, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So they've both sort of gone through it. Now, do you know Kirk? I mean, have you met Kirk or uh, hung out with him before? I haven't met Kirk officially. Um, I've spoken a fair few times on FaceTime and, um, you know, just about the standards and expectations and, um, you know, sort of what's required basically to try and succeed at sort of that level, which he's obviously done. So, um, yeah, he's been super valuable for me. And, um, yeah, I'm extremely grateful for sort of our friendship now. So I'm very excited to get over there and have a kick with him. I remember about five years ago talking to Kirk, uh, kind of in a similar situation. I think with him, we talked over FaceTime in a McDonald. He was in a McDonald's or something, and because we couldn't couldn't talk on the phone, make a call, so we had to we had to FaceTime each other. And I remember him telling me about his story of how he ended up kind of getting linked up with Pitt. What's your story like? What, when did this connection first start? When did you first hear from Pitt, and how did you end up in this position? Yeah, of course. So basically, I joined ProKick uh, last year in about April, um, and basically just joined the program, had an assessment, um, was lucky enough to sort of be involved. And then I trained for about, uh, about eight months and then sort of, um, yeah, obviously sort of had regular communication from Pitt, um, sort of from December ish, um, just sort of, they obviously wanted some film. Um, and yeah, they obviously liked what they saw and, um, I just had to keep, keep sort of sending film, um, you know, obviously, cause I don't have the luxury of being out of, I guess, try out in person or, you know, that sort of thing. So I just had to keep sending him a bunch of different film of all different types of kicks. And then, um, yeah, just obviously formed a pretty good bond with coach Andre Powell. Um, and then he recruited me sort of um, around sort of April. So, and then announced after that. So, yeah. Is it, I mean, is it, yeah, I don't know. I mean, just maybe just because, you know, we've had, like I said, Jordan Berry with the Steelers, Kirk with the uh, pit. Now you're coming to pit. Uh, but I mean, how big is this sort of movement to try to become a punter in, in American football? I mean, it, 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 I don't know how big is pro kick, you know, Australia and, and how, I mean, are there a lot of guys trying to do what you're doing right now? It's still pretty niche, to be honest with you. It's definitely grown exponentially a year on year um, from my understanding anyway. Cause I think he sort of, I think my coach Nathan Chapman um, and John A. Smith, they sort of started the program back in 2009 I believe. Um, and yeah, as sort of the years have gone on, they've sort of branched out a little bit more and gotten a lot more athletes on board. Um, but yeah, so they, they definitely know the sweet signs and um, I, I guess I feel very lucky to sort of learn under their tutelage and that sort of thing. So, yeah. Now this is uh, it, it's, it's a, it's a silly question, but five years ago, I remember interviewing Kirk and he explained to me Aussie rules football um, give, give me a, a refresher course on, on the differences, uh, you know, some of the rules differences between Aussie rules football and, and American football. Yeah, sure thing. So Aussie rules football is very high octane, um, just continuation sport, pretty much. It, it's two hours, the game, four 30 minute quarters, and it's, it's nonstop. Um, it's a bit different to NFL in the sense that you essentially obviously have like three teams on an NFL team. Basically, you obviously have special teams, defense and offense. And then, with Aussie rules, you pretty much have all those three all playing at once. So it's basically just ongoing, um, very, very intense, a lot of running involved. Um, but the primary skill has obviously been out of kick. So unlike Americans, you guys growing up throwing the ball, and that's why you guys are so proficient at it, obviously. Um, 
yeah, we obviously grew up kicking the ball. So it's a, it's a very natural thing for us to do um, in terms of timing and things like that. Um, and then, yeah, so that's, that's sort of why it's become, you know, increasingly popular over the years. How, how different, you know, the, the kicks you're trying to do there, how different is that from what you're going to be doing once you get to pit and play American football? Yeah, for sure. So we pretty much do that end over end sp- uh, pun that you see from, you know, a lot of Australians that are obviously over there currently at college football. Um, we call it a rollout drop pun over mm-hmm. here. So that's, that's a very natural kick for us. Um, or traditionally a very natural kick. Um, and then obviously the pro style, punt you know obviously the american spiral is just something that obviously takes time to learn hence why you know that's sort of that eight month block of just full-on training to kind of get you know very proficient at it um so yeah but we're very lucky here in the program because they they basically try and put you under as much pressure as possible to to emulate as best as they can what it's going to be like in, in america and i think that's sort of attributed to why our coaches have done very well with sending guys over so okay Okay, great. Now, you know, how much have you watched American football? I mean, have you been watching for a few years? Did you start watching once this became a real possibility that you could do this kind of thing? I mean, I'm not even sure what kind of access. It's the internet, right? There's access to everything. But I mean, how much have you kind of watched the sport over the last few years? Honestly, before I joined the program, I hadn't watched a game. So um, <laughs> that was <laughs> that was last year, obviously around March-ish is when I joined. And then Ever since, I've just obviously done a lot more sort of study on it to obviously become, you know, a lot more understanding of the game itself. But I love watching it now. And a lot of, a lot of blokes ask me, oh, do you miss Aussie rules? And I just, no, I don't, to be honest. I love I love the American game. I, lo- I love the culture. And as I said, I, I really love the punting aspect. So, yeah. I mean, I mean it, it doesn't – I mean, the way you describe Aussie rules, I mean, it, it, it seems like there's – constant action i mean it doesn't seem boring to watch like an nfl game or a college football game where one play stand around for 30 seconds one play you know somebody somebody once added up all the actual action in an nfl game and it was something like 48 minutes out of like the three and a half hours that you watch the game i mean yeah. it's it's not boring at all to you you, you like all the breaks and, and pauses i think i enjoy it more because i'm learning it do you know mm-hmm. what i mean i think i think it's more because i'm i'm actively trying to understand it I am be- I'm beginning to enjoy it more because every every game I watch, I'm like, oh, now I know what that means or <laughs> so on and so forth. So it's sort of a fun learning process. And um, yeah, you, you're definitely right. It's uh, a bit, bit slow compared to Aussie rules, but um, yeah, I don't like it any less. That's for sure. Now, have you ever, have you ever left Australia? Have you ever traveled, you know, out of the country at all? International travel? Yeah, I've been very fortunate to actually have done a fair bit of traveling. So um, as I'm a little bit older, I guess I've, um, as soon as I left school, I uh, obviously have worked for my dad's business, but um, yeah, I've obviously just traveled a lot. So, and my, and my fiance is actually American. So, hmm. um, yeah, I've, I've definitely familiarized myself a lot with America itself. Um, and yeah, I absolutely can't wait to get over. So, now, how, I mean, not, not to dig too deep into the uh, soap opera, but how, how do you, how do you come across an American fiance? How does that come? Was she, is she in Australia? Do you meet her in America? How, do, how does that go down? I actually met her in a bar. In America, to be honest with you, so uh, yeah. Where in America? Uh, like, like New York City or someplace, or where? San Diego. Yeah. So <laughs> I know, I know. It's a, as as you definitely said, it's a bit of a long story, but so I'm going to it too much. But yeah, we met at a bar and then just sort of hit it off from there. And um, it was sort of the reason why I got into punting, to be honest, because obviously I wanted to try and um, you know start a life with obviously Hallie over there in America, and I sort of looked at what my options were, and then found Pro Kick and. Um, I didn't know how I'd go to be honest I just sort of went in and gave it a crack and um, yeah obviously my coach just saw something in me and obviously Pittsburgh did and that's sort of where I am now so okay. have you traveled much in the U.S. or I mean I mean you mentioned San Diego have you been around any other parts of the country I have yes yeah. so I've sort of done all the west coast like I traveled from um, San Fran down to LA um, and then obviously I've been in New York um, I've been to Cleveland because that's where my partner's from, obviously. Um, and that's sort of it. Yeah. So sort of probably more like California. I've done a lot of exploring sort of up that coast, but okay. um, yeah, not, not a, I've never been to Pittsburgh. basically. Okay. To, yeah, yeah. That, that was the, yeah, yeah, that was the next yeah. question. So, I mean, what do you, you know, what do you expect or what have you been told to expect either by the pit coaches or by Kirk or, any, you know, anybody, I mean, what are you kind of expecting once you get here in, in a few weeks? Of course. Yeah. So I'm, I'm definitely expecting it to be, cold windy um and difficult 
difficult to punt in, but I've definitely been practicing, you know, obviously trying to emulate those conditions as much as possible. Um, and yeah, I think, I think I'm definitely ready. So um, that's what I'm expecting. I'm, I'm obviously hoping it's, you know, warm every day and no wind and whatever, but whatever, whatever happens will happen. And um, I'm ready either way. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't count on the warm and, and no, no, <laughs> no. And all that. that's, nah, that's we, it, we you need to get used right. to that right now. You need to get in a wind yeah. tunnel or something like that and start, start punting and that kind of thing. But uh, you know, has, has Kirk told you anything unique or interesting about Pittsburgh? I mean, what, what, what kind of uh, Intel has she, as he uh, her, uh, shared with you in your conversations? Uh, it, yeah, he just told me it's beautiful, really, to be honest. We're, we're, a lot of our conversations are sort of around the football aspect, to be honest mm-hmm. with you. Um, and so uh, we haven't spoken heaps about the city itself, but he just said it's, you know, it's a really beautiful city. And um, I guess I'm very lucky to be going somewhere where, um, you know, it's, it's not sort of in the middle of nowhere per se. It's, it's definitely um, a very sort of populated city. And um, yeah, so hopefully there's opportunities to sort of fit in and, and those sort of things. Now the the coaches as they've recruited you and as in their conversations with you, it, how have they sort of set up the punting situation for next year? Have they said, you know, Kirk's leaving, we need somebody to come in and and be the man, kind of right from the start, basically like Kirk. I guess Kirk redshirted for one year, um, but you know, what have they told you to expect when you come in and, and play next year? Uh, I don't want to reveal too much, obviously, but yeah, obviously I'm I'm planning on coming in there and just competing for a job. To be honest, I just want to get the respect of everyone and. Um, you know, obviously I want to work for the position and um, obviously I have high expectations of myself. I obviously want to come in and play straight off the bat, but um, I'm definitely prepared to work for it. Um, and I've tried to basically do a lot more different types of punts to probably what's, you know, traditional over there per se. I'm, I'm very, I guess, spirals are obviously my, my strength, you know, kicking that pro style traditional spiral. Um but a lot of different sort of Aussie style punts is, is probably something that I'm probably going to bring in that's maybe a little bit different to, um, you know, what's been done earlier. But, um, yeah, you just have to wait and see, I guess. Cool. Well, that's something to look forward to for sure. Just out of curiosity, yeah. when did you uh, finish high school? Like, uh, when did you graduate? 2015. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm 24. <laughs> Oh, that's older than your typical uh, college freshman in America. Yeah, really, yeah don't, don't remind me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, just yeah. so just so your freshman teammates aren't like asking you to go buy a beer or anything like that. You, you can't do that. You gotta. No, you know. absolutely not. No, I can't do it. <laughs> For sure. All right. When, when do you move in, uh, Sam? When do you move into Pittsburgh? Um, so I'm hoping to be there um, either sort of around New Year's or um, obviously very early January. Um, obviously, I have to be on campus by the tenth. So. Um, that's sort of when I plan to sort of be around there. It's just, it's just a bit difficult at the moment with visas, et cetera, because of COVID and everything, as I'm sure you can imagine. But um, yeah, I'll be there very, very soon. Okay. All right, Sam. Well, hey, thanks a lot for your time. I really appreciate it. It was uh, fun to chat with you for the first time and you know, look forward to uh, meeting you once you get to Pittsburgh in, uh, in a few weeks. We'll see you then, okay? Likewise, Chris. Thanks for the chat.